Hey, me again. I'm here at the Stratum Trails in Stratum Hill Park. And I'm doing my next Ben's Wild Adventure and my next Ben's Wild Adventure episode about the cougar. For one thing, the cougar is the largest of the three wildcats in North America. The other two, of course, are the lynx and, and the, the bobcat. bobcat. And, and cougars are 10 feet long, 3 feet tall, and weigh 300 pounds. And they're also the most successful hunters in the cat family. 85% of their hunts end in success, which means they're probably the only cats successful enough to have regular meal times. And because they're considered both big cats and little cats, they're actually the largest cats in the world that can purr. Cougars live in both North and South America. In North America, their only competition is the bear and the wolf. In fact, cougars can actually kill wolves. It's already been confirmed that in a fight between a cougar and a wolf, the cougar would win because it's bigger and stronger. In South America, the cougar's competition is probably its larger cousin, the jaguar. Jaguars used to live in North America too, but they're extinct in North America now. However, they have been seen in places like Mexico, New Mexico, Texas, Arizona, and Florida, which means they're crossing the Panama Canal, and it's possible they might be returning to North America. So, jaguars and cougars compete in South America today, and they probably competed in North America too, and a fight between a jaguar and a cougar, the jaguar is bigger and stronger, so my money's on the jaguar. Cougars actually have five different names. Cougar, Mountain Lion, Puma, Catamount, and Florida Panther. Now, there's actually three different types of panthers. The Jaguar, the Leopard, and the Cougar. The truth is there's actually no such thing as a panther, which means there's no such thing as a black panther or a white panther either. So, basically a panther can either be a Jaguar, a Leopard, or a Cougar. A white panther can either be a white jaguar, a white leopard, or a white cougar. They're not albinos, they're preholders from the Ice Age, kind of similar to a white lion or a white tiger. And they're rarer than black panthers. A black panther can either be a black jaguar or a black leopard. But a Florida panther is always a cougar, so maybe there is such thing as a Florida panther. Cougars can take down prey 10 times their size. That means a 300 pound cougar can take down one and a half ton animals. And like most cats, they can see 10 times better in the dark than we can. They can hit 45 miles an hour and both the cougar and the snow leopard can both each cover 50 feet in one leap and jump 20 feet straight up in the air, farther and higher than any other cat in the world. And, like most cats, especially like most big cats, when a cougar punches something with its paws like this, the force is always two-thirds of its body weight. That means a 300-pound cougar has a punching force of 200 pounds per square inch. And it also has a bite force of 300 pounds per square inch. That's actually the same as the average human bite. And that's also actually the same as the prehistoric saber-toothed tiger. It was once thought that the saber-toothed tiger had a savage bite, probably because of its huge canine teeth and its huge jaw muscles, but then they found out that it actually had a relatively weak bite. It had a bite force of only 300 pounds per square inch, the same as a cougar, or the average human, or a large dog. Turns out that the saber-toothed tiger actually didn't have to bite very hard to kill its prey. Cougars can actually crossbreed with leopards. If you crossbreed a male cougar or puma with a female leopard, you get a puma part. In fact, you can actually crossbreed leopards with lions, jaguars, and cougars. If you crossbreed a male jaguar with a female leopard, you get a jaguar lep. If you crossbreed a male leopard with a female lion, you get a lepin. And of course, there are these other two famous hybrid cats. Crossbreed a male lion with a female tiger, you get a liger. And if you crossbreed, 
If you do the opposite, crossbreed a male tiger with a female lion, you get a tigon. And earlier, when I mentioned the panthers, forgot to mention when I when I mentioned the black panthers, I forgot to mention the black panthers have the opposite of have, black panthers have the opposite of albinism called melanism. That means there's too much color pigment. Albinism, there's no color pigment at all. Melanism, they're black. And they could overheat because they're they're black. And um, there aren't any black cougars. However, some people have reported seeing black cougars. So is it possible that maybe cougars could become black as well? Earlier when I said that, like most cats, cougars can see ten times better in the dark than we can, that means their night vision is as sharp as a shark's, because a shark can also see ten times better in the dark than we can. And another thing about the Black Panthers, I said it's possible that cougars could become black. You see, the fact that jaguars, leopards, and cougars are all called panthers proves that they're all closely related. So if they're all called panthers, and if they can all be white, and if jaguars and leopards can both be black, why couldn't a cougar? And during the last ice age, in Asia, there used to be prehistoric giant Asian pumas. They were much larger than modern day pumas, and they hunted the largest primate that ever lived, Gigantopithecus, giant prehistoric ape. But Gigantopithecus might not have been easy prey for the prehistoric giant Asian puma because interactions between those two were very similar to interactions between modern day gorillas and modern day leopards. And it's already been confirmed that in a fight between a gorilla and a leopard, the gorilla would win because it's bigger and stronger. So, it's possible that Gigantopithecus might have had an edge over these prehistoric giant Asian pumas. Thanks again for watching. See you next time on another episode of Ben's Wild Adventure.